Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. I apologize for being a little late about the Destiny Hero Plant deck profile. It's a very, very good deck. I was playtesting it during locals. I really hope you guys enjoy this build. So first, we're going to start off with two Destiny Hero Plasma. Um, Plasma is pretty clutch in this deck. You get to special summon a lot of tokens. Um, taking your opponent's monster is nothing to joke at. Being able to negate all your opponent's monsters. This is your effect barrier. This is your skill drain. This is your 1900 plus beater on the field. He ultimately secures a lot of games for you, and he's a clutch card overall. Um, next, we're going to go to three Destiny Hero Malicious. Um, it wouldn't be called Destiny Hero Plants without Destiny Heroes and Plants. And Malicious provides that key essential card to going into your Power Tools, your Crimson Bladers, your Maliciouses. Just so many wacky combos with this card. Overall, it's pretty good. Um, six stars is nothing to scuff at as I can go six or seven. I've actually went 11 couple, a couple times for Star Eater. Just overall an amazing card. Um, next, that lone copy of Titanial. Um, a very good control card for the game, especially when you're going against decks like Dragon Rulers and Mermels. Um, they don't have any answers to this in main board unless Dragon Rulers decide to summon Blaster and Crash with her. Um, she can't be targeted, or in, and if she is, oh, I'm sorry, if any of your cards are targeted, you can tribute a plant monster, including your plant tokens from Dandelion, to negate the card and destroy it. Just overall amazing. She, she gets over so many things. Overall, just a really anti-meta piece of the deck. Um, next, we're going to be doing Triple Doppel Warrior. I actually wanted to drop Double Warrior down to two, but regardless, you can special summon him from hand. He's extra token fodder. He's a warrior. He fits so well into this deck, being able to special summon him and then synchro and then keep synchroing. He, f he helps a lot with your Hyper Light Varian plays. Just overall, really good card. Um, triple Notoria Cherries. Now, Notoria Cherry is probably one of the most clutch cards in this deck. Opening up with Cherries is probably the most important thing to the deck, as you can get two more tuners and just go have the nuts after that. Um, overall, he's a level. It's a level one tuner that's amazing with Spore. Just a really good card, very versatile, um, and you can possibly think of it as uh, kind of like a Mystic Tomato for the deck, being able to recruit other tuners and stuff like that. Um, next, we're going to be running two Plague Spreader Zombie. Um, since you do run Destiny Hero Malicious and Trips. It does become kind of rough to draw them, and Plague Spreader Zombie really, really helps out, helps out with that. Um, it also has extremely well synergy with Doppel Warrior. You know, just special summoning Plague Spreader from the graveyard, putting that malicious on top, special summoning Doppel Warrior, um, going into your 8 or your 4, and then going a DDR. It just has so many good combos placed with it. It's potential. It's a dark monster, so it's just really, really good. Um, next, one Lone Fire Blossom. I mean, it's not a plant deck without Lone Fire Blossom. You kind of need that. It's essential to the deck, um, getting out any of your plant monsters that you need. Most of the time it's Titanio if you're opening turn. Other times it's Dandelion, Spore, whatever you want to do. And so many shenanigans with this card, with the spell cards that we run. Um, one copy of Nettles. Uh, Nettles was added in probably, I want to say, episode 3 or 4. And he's pretty essential for going into your Hyper Librarian plays if you don't have anything set up. Him plus Dandelion equals Hyper, Hyper Librarian. And then you get two tokens. And then you can just have the nuts with Solar, solar Nutrient, go into a Formula Synchron, draw more cards. And overall all his other effect uh, to prevent himself from being destroyed isn't that bad. Overall, Nettles is just a pretty decent card. Our greatest level 2 plant tuner. A pretty good card uh, target for Spore, making him level 3. Um, next is Spore. Spore is, I want to say, never dead. Even when you don't have plants in graveyard, you can abuse him to go in a formula synchron and stuff like that. And when you do have plants in the graveyard, because you run so many, he becomes so much target, so much fodder, so many good plays in there, so much broken stuff just with Spore. Um, thank God Konomi had the right mind to say Spore can only be used once per duel, because I'd probably be running three of them, and just too many shenanigans with this card. Um, one Dandelion, like a, just like Lone Fire, if... This is key essentially to the plant engine. It's, it's no other way around it. Um, him being able to special summon tokens, just amazing. Level 3, just amazing. It's, it has so many good things going with this card. And if you guys didn't know, Spore, Dandelion, and uh, Lone Fire are the regular plant engine. We take it a, another notch up by running more plants to make all our cards so live. But um, for spells, we're going to be running 3 Super Solar Nutrient. And this is what makes the cherries live. This is what makes uh, Spore live. This is what makes uh, Lone Fire so searchable. It's almost like we have 4 Lone Fire blossoms within the deck. All you have to do is tribute a token, plant, it has to be a plant, but a token, uh, a cherry, um, a spore, and we instantly get Lone Fire Blossom, we instantly get to go into our plays, a lot of synchro summoning with this card. Um, this, we run it in threes because it's so easily abusable and we want it as fast as possible. Next, I know it sounds odd, but we do not normal summon. 
This deck rarely normal summons. So Miracle Fertilizer, you can take so much advantage out of this card. Even just bringing back a Lone Fire Blossom to go in Titania was amazing. Uh, just stupid good plays with this. If you don't get rid of the card, like let's say if you activate it, bring out Titania, and your opponent allows this to sit for your turn, you're going to probably go ham with it because Special Summoning another plant monster and then going off with that is amazing. Keep in mind if Miracle Fertilizer is destroyed, your monster Special Summon aren't. And having multiples in hand typically says an OTK. Um, next is Triple Scapegoat. Keep in mind, like I said, we don't normal summon monsters. We need more fodder. The only thing that you guys seen were Dandelion and Doppel Warrior for uh, non-tuner monsters other than the Destiny Heroes. Scapegoat is a live option at all times. It's a Destiny Hero plasma target. It's so It works so well with this deck being synchro fodder. The only thing that I don't like is that it isn't plant. Because if it was plant, it'd be too many stupid plays. I mean, I guess you could run like Naturia Pineapple and stuff, but then have to take away from the Destiny Heroes. Overall, Scapegoat is just an amazing card for this deck. If at very worst, it's a trap card that helps you deflect any of your opponent's attacks. Next, two Mystical Space Typhoons. It's pretty obvious why we run two Mystical Space Typhoons. Um, very versatile card. If you play it right, you should be able to get over a lot of your opponent's back row. Two Market of Rose. Now, this is where the plays just get stupid. Banish a plant monster, take control of one of your opponent's monsters. We have a Snatch and Steal within this deck that banishes plant monsters to set up for DDR. It is just too stupid with this deck. Sure, I'll take your opponent's monster, and then I'll synchro summon with it, and then I'll bring back the monster that I synchro summon, and then it's, it's just so stupid with this deck. We only run two because three is cloggy. Um, even taking your opponent's monster just to hit for game, like people did with brain control, is still very crucial to this deck. Overall, just a really nice card to have. Next, we're going to be running two DDR. Um, the card that I've been talking about so much. DDR allows you to special summon any of your removed from play plant monsters. I've had some pretty silly plays where I've actually removed uh, Titania with Spore, DDR to uh, Malicious, special summon Titania, use the Malicious, uh, a token, and the Spore for Plasma. Like, this card just sets up so many plays in this deck, and because you banish so much, it's, it's pretty critical that you run them. I've actually wanted to run three, but two is just fine, mainly because we run Hidden Armory. Keep in mind that I said we do not normal summon. Hidden Armory, a lot, Hidden Armory and Miracle, Miracle Fertilizer allows us to capitalize on us not normal summoning. Being able to send the top card of your deck, if you set it up with Plague Spreader, stupid good, um, and then add uh, a quick spell card from uh, from deck or graveyard to your hand. Just overall, really, really good card. Allows us to make all of our quick spell cards pretty searchable and versatile. One, one for one. I shouldn't even tell you how many level ones that I'm running, let alone how broken this card is for the deck. Being Sending monsters from your hand to the graveyard is almost cru cru crucial in this deck, mainly because you have, like, Malicious in hand. If you guys haven't caught on, I don't run Destiny draws. You have, like, Malicious in hand. You'll have Dandelion in hand. And one for one just makes the card so live. And also special summons that spore from your deck. Um, one Foolish Burial. Um... Almost the same reason why one for one we want those monsters in the graveyard. Putting Dandelions in the graveyard and Super Solar Nutrient or putting Titanio and going Miracle Fertilizer at worst is pretty key to this deck, just controlling the field and getting monsters. And then last but not least for our triple traps, we're going to be running three Raigeki Break. Now Raigeki Break is a card that I was iffy about at first, but... The discard to destroy effect is pretty crucial. Like I said, discarding monsters from your hand are almost necessary, and that's why we run Triple Raigeki Break. Keep in mind, no Destiny draws because of uh, consistency issues, so we're going to go to Triple Raigeki Break, being able to destroy any card on your opponent's side of the field. Pretty good. Um, next for Extra Deck, one Quasar, and it's it's just stupid how many times I've summoned this card just by not even knowing it. It's him and Star Eater actually fight for that uh, 15 card spot because I go I can go into Quasar a lot, I can go into Star Eater a lot, and they, they go back and forth. But for right now, I'm going to pick Quasar because the plays with the deck are so stupid. Summoning Quasar turn one and having six cards in hand is almost automatic. I've actually went Quasar and Plasma on the same turn, and it's 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 pretty much GG after that. It's nothing the opponent can do. Um, one Stardust Dragon, obvious reasons. And now that I think about it, Quasar, Stardust Dragon, uh, Quasar, Shooting Star, and, uh, and, um, 
the, the damn level dragon card. I forget his name. They all fight for that last spot. And, and mainly because I run Formula Synchron, I run Stardust Dragon, I can go into Shooting Star. So level, I want to call it level eater. I don't know why. Star Eater, there you go, I'm sorry. Star Eater, Quasar, and Shooting Star fight for that position so much. And Stardust kind of puts Shooting Star in there. Right now we're not going to be running it in the final build, but just it's just food for thought, really. Um, one Scrap Dragon, I summon a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of a tokens, and Scrap Dragon makes all those tokens live. Being able just to destroy a token you got for free to destroy your opponent's card is pretty cool. One Crimson Blader, um, Dragon Rulers, uh, Mermels, any deck that you want to shut down, go into Crimson Blader and proceed to beat their face with it. Overall, just a really good card. Nothing really else to say about that. Um, double Black Rose Dragon. Yes, there is times where I went double Black Rose Dragon in one turn and then proceeded to go to game. I think I did it in episode four. Overall, Black Rose is so easy to make, and what people do overlook is the second effect to banish one plant monster, target one of your opponent's defense monsters, and switch it to attack. Just amazing for this deck. Even the banish the plant part, that sets up so many plays. Like I said, with aforementioned DDR, um, one power tool dragon. Um, I run four equipped spell cards. Power tool dragon isn't always the amazing thing. But when you do summon Power Tool Dragon and you're using its effect, it's typically a game winner. Power Tool Dragon overall is one of the five D signers, I guess, and that's why we're using it. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, one Orient Dragon gets over Synchro Monsters, level six, pretty easy to go into, rarely dead. One HTS, um, our best level six Synchro that we have right now. Uh, overall, being a DD Warrior Lady isn't that bad for those problematic cards that I couldn't get over at that specific time. Um, one TG Hyper Librarian. Like I've said, so many stupid players with this. I didn't. Need, I've went to Hyper Librarian as my first Synchro so many times, and then just Synchro, Synchro, Synchro. Don't even go into Formula Synchro. Just TG Hyper Librarian and just Synchro, Synchro, Synchro. Gives you those pluses that you need. Um, one Armadas, Keeper of Boundaries. Overall, just a really good card. Level 5 Synchro. Allows you to get over track, gores, and all that stupid stuff. Really good card. Um, one Cataster. Really shouldn't even say why I should be running this card. Just overall, really good card. One Armory Arm. Um, I am playing plants, a lot of level 1s, a lot of tokens. You should be able to go into Armory Arm fairly well, and it's a quick effect to inflict damage and to gain your monster a thousand attack is nothing to scuff at. Um, one Mistbird, Colossus. You guys actually seen me going to Mistbird, going to Army Arm, and then on my opponent's channel, Synchro for Cataster. Overall, just a really good card, being able to target one of your opponent's attack, uh, attack position monsters, making it zero and negating its effects. Just really good. And then one Formula Synchron, the complete star of the deck. I'll probably go to him and uh, Hyper Librarian more than anything else. The draw of one and uh, potentially draw two and just do too many shenanigans is overrated uh, or underrated. Uh, Shooting Star and Quasar are very live with this card. That's the only way you can make it. And he's so easy to make because we run so many level 1 tuners and then tokens. Um, now for extra deck. This extra deck is, or I'm sorry, the side deck is very situational. You're really going to really want to run whatever you see in your matter for YCS level. Um, what I did do is I'm just going to say triple effect Veiler and triple maxi. Mainly because if you're running at a YCS level or any level above uh, local level, you're going to probably want to run at least two of each in your main board. So there's going to be some cards that you want to take out. It's really your preference. This deck is a total your preference deck. You can run the D draws if you wanted to just because of this deck is so much your preference. But um, the side deck would be completely up to you because there's a lot of side deck cards that hurt this deck and then there's certain side deck cards that help you. Just so much stuff to go over and I don't have enough time as you guys can see. Um, a couple cards that I did want to mention in here is Enemy Controller from main board. Enemy Controller I run so many tokens. Enemy Controller gets the job done. Overall just a really, really, really good card. Being able to tribute one of your tokens to take one of your opponent's monsters. Keep in mind, we only run three traps, so it being a semi trap is pretty dope. Um, that's really all about it for the plant. Destiny Hero Plant Deck. Thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.